Hi, let's discuss Trisense algorithm for matrix multiplication. This is a divide and conquer approach. So before discussing this approach matrix multiplication, let's first discuss normal matrix multiplication. If A and B are square n cross n matrix, then the product C equals to A dot B or you can say A scalar product B. We define the entry C i j for i and j can be 1 to n. So suppose A is a 2 cross 2 matrix and B is a 2 cross 2 matrix. Then A scalar product B that will be C 2 cross 2. If A will be 3 cross 3, B will be 3 cross 3, then C will also be 3 cross 3. And what is the formula for doing this multiplication? It is C of ij equals to summation k equals to 1 to n, A of ik multiplication B of kj. This is the formula for finding multiplication, for finding C. Let's discuss the normal square matrix multiplication algorithm. n equals to a row. Let C be a new n cross n matrix. A matrix is given, B matrix is given. Now multiplication will be C. So C is a new n cross n matrix. For I, 1 to n. I is for row. For J, 1 to n. J is for column. C, I, J equals to 0. For K, 1 to n. This K is for C. For the new matrix. C, I, J equals to C, I, J plus A, I, K multiplication b k j written c so this is the normal matrix multiplication algorithm what will be running time for this there are three for loop so line 7 will run for this three for loop running time is theta of n power 3 so for square matrix multiplication running time is theta of n power 3 let's discuss divide and concur algorithm for matrix multiplication what is divide and concur? Suppose we have a large matrix that we can divide into small matrix and we can do the multiplication. Suppose this is a 4 cross 4 matrix that we are multiplying with another 4 cross 4 matrix. Then what we will do? We will divide this matrix into 2 cross 2 matrix and we will consider this whole as one element. Let it A11. This is A12. This is A21 and this is A22. So this is a 4 cross 4 matrix that we convert into 2 cross 2 matrix. We consider this whole as one element, this whole as one element, this whole as one element, this whole as one element. In the same way we also divide B then we will do the multiplication. So this is a divide and conquer approach. If we have a large matrix that we can divide into small matrix till size is 2 cross 2 then we can do the multiplication c equals to a multiplication b we assume that n is exact power of 2 in each of the n cross n matrix it can be 2 it can be 4 it can be 8 it can be 16 so it should be exact power of 2 then only we can divide Suppose that we partition each of A, B and C into 4 n by 2 cross n by 2 matrices. Let A equals to A11, A12, A21, A22. B equals to B11, B12, B21, B22. C equals to C11, C12, C21 and C22. Then C will be A dot B. So this is our C, this is our A, this is our B. Let's find value for each C. So C11 that will be first row multiplication first column. It will be A11 multiplication B11 plus A12 multiplication B21. Next C12 that will be multiplication of first row and second column. So A11 multiplication B12 plus A12 multiplication B22. Next C21 that will be multiplication of second row and first column. A21 multiplication B11 plus A22 multiplication B21. Next C22 that is multiplication of second row and second column. So A21 multiplication B12 plus A22 multiplication B22. 
These are the formula for C. We'll divide the large matrix into small matrix. Then we can do the multiplication. So hence recurrence for divide and concur algorithm is for n value less than equals to 2 theta of n for n value greater than 2 it is 8 t n divide 2 plus theta of n square why 8 if we count there are 8 multiplication 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 there are 8 multiplication and there are 4 addition and we know for matrix addition running time is theta of n square so this theta of n square is for matrix addition and 8 t n divide to 8 multiplication and t n divide to as we are dividing the size now we can apply the master theorem here a equals to 8 b equals to 2 and f of n equals to n square now n power log a base b that is n power log 8 base 2 it is n power 3 so n power 3 is greater than n power 2 it comes under case 1 running time will be theta of n power 3 so by both general approach and divide and concur approach we got running time as theta of n power 3 in general approach we are using three for loop whereas in divide and concur approach we are dividing a large matrix into small matrix and we will do till it is a two crush two matrix and for two crush two matrix we have this formula we can directly use this formula and we can find the matrix multiplication but in case of divide and concur approach we need to call itself so for calling it will use some stack stack will need some extra space so we can say from both algorithm divide and concur and general approach general approach is better both running time is same but space complexity will be vary here space complexity will be more as it call itself for that it will need some extra stack we discussed two approach one is general approach another is divide and concur approach in both case running time is theta of n power 3 next is strassen's method what is strassen's approach rather than 8 multiplication he suggested 7 multiplication so number of multiplication will be reduced but number of addition and subtraction will be increased so instead of performing 8 recursive multiplication it will form only 7. So the cost of eliminating one matrix multiplication will be several new addition of n divide 2 multiplication n divide 2 matrix. But still only a constant number of addition. So a constant number of addition will increase and one multiplication will decrease. Let's discuss this Rassen's method. It has four steps. First step divide the input matrix A and B and output matrix C into n divide 2 plus n divide 2 sum matrix. This step take theta of 1 time by index calculation. Next create 10 matrices S1 to S10 each of which is n divide 2 plus n divide 2 and the sum or difference of two matrices created in step 1. And we can create all 10 matrices in theta of n square time. Next third step using the sum matrices created in step 1 and step 2 recursively compute 7 matrix product P1 to P7 each matrix PI is n divide 2 plus n divide 2. So in first step we will divide the matrix into sum matrices that will take theta of 1 time. In second step we will create 10 matrices S1 to S10 that is sum and difference of two matrices created in step 1 and step 3 will create P1 to P7 that is product of several matrix created in step 1 and step 2. Next is step 4. Compute the desired sum matrices C11, C12, C21 and C22 of the result matrix C by adding and subtracting various combination of PI matrices we can compute the sum matrices in theta of n square time. Let us assume that once the matrix size n get down to 2, we have a n cross n matrices that will divide. So we will do 
we'll do this step recursively and finally we'll reach to 2 cross 2 sum matrices and when we reach to 2 cross 2 sum matrices we'll perform simply scalar multiplication just an in line 4 of square matrix multiply recursive in previous lecture i discussed four formula for c11 c12 c21 and c22 that we'll use directly so when n greater than 2 step 1 2 and 4 take a total of theta n square time and step 3 require us to perform 7 multiplication of n divide 2 multiplication n divide 2 matrices Hence, recurrence relation for Strassen's algorithm is t of n equals to theta of 1 if n value less than equal to 2 and 7 t of n divide 2 plus theta of n square if n greater than 2. Just remember the previous one in divide and conquer approach here it was 8. It was 8 that's why running time was theta of n power 3 but here it is 7. We just reduce one multiplication that's why it is 7 and this is for matrix addition you know matrix addition running time is theta of n square now what will be running time for this we can apply the master method a equals to 7 b equals to 2 and f of n equals to theta of n square now n power log a base b so n power log 7 base 2 log 7 base 2 that obviously greater than n power 2 so running time will be theta of n power log 7 or if you'll find exact value it will be theta of n power 2.807 in general approach and divide and conquer approach for matrix multiplication running time is theta of n power 3 Whereas in Strassen's method, it is theta of n power 2.807. So here rather than 8 multiplication, we are doing 7 multiplication. Let's simplify the steps of Strassen's algorithm. In first step, we are dividing into sum matrices. In second step, we are finding 10 sum matrices like s1 equals to b12 minus b22 s2 equals to a11 plus a12 s3 equals to a21 plus a22 s4 equals to b21 minus b11 s5 equals to a11 plus a22 s6 equals to b11 plus b22 s7 equals to a12 minus a22 s8 equals to b21 plus b22 s9 equals to a11 minus a21 s10 equals to b11 minus b12 this is all about step 7 next is step 3 in step 3 we will find p1 to 7 means product 1 to 7 step 3 p1 equals to a11 multiplication s1 p2 equals to s2 multiplication b22 p3 equals to s3 multiplication b11 p4 equals to a22 multiplication s4 p5 equals to s5 multiplication s6 p6 equals to s7 multiplication s8 p7 equals to s9 multiplication s10 you can see there are just seven multiplication next step 4 we need to find formula for C11, C12, C21 and C22. So C11 equals to P5 plus P4 minus P2 plus P6. C12 equals to P1 plus P2. C21 equals to P3 plus P4. C22 equals to P5 plus P1 minus P3 minus P7. So these are some steps by Strassen's method that we can follow to find matrix multiplication it reduces the number of multiplication but it is complicated you cannot remember all the formula so it is difficult to remember better way you can use the general approach or divide and conquer approach here you just remember running time is theta of n power 2.807 in divide and conquer and general approach it is theta of n power 3 let's simplify one c it's C12. What is C12? P1 plus P2. What is P1? A11 multiplication S1. What is S1? B12 minus B22. So C12 equals to 
P1, P1 is A11 multiplication S1. So A11 multiplication B12 minus A11 multiplication B22 plus P2. What is P2? S2 multiplication B22. S2 is A11 multiplication B22 plus A12 multiplication B22. Now simplify here minus A11 multiplication B22 here plus A11 multiplication B22. So we can cancel these two terms. After cancellation we got A11 multiplication B12 plus A12 multiplication B22. Let's remember the fourth formula of divide and conquer. Now compare C12. C12 equals to A11 multiplication B12. Here A11 multiplication B12 plus A12 multiplication B22. Here also same. So you can say indirectly we are finding the same thing. But this process is more complicated. Here these are the direct formula. Here these are the indirect formula. So in Strassen's method there are four steps. Step 1 will divide into some matrix. Step 2 we are finding 10s. Step 3 we are finding 7 products. Step 4 we are finding 4c. C11, C12, C21 and C22. And there are lots of formula. We need to remember all these. Rather than remembering all these formula for four step, better you just remember this. This is the easiest way. Running time will be increased. One more multiplication will be increased, but it is simple. You just remember the running time for both divide and conquer and Strassen's method. For Strassen's method, it is theta of n power 2.807, or we can say theta of n power log 7. Whereas for divide and conquer and general approach running time is theta of n power 3. With this I am finishing matrix multiplication. If this lecture is helpful for you please like and subscribe. Thank you.